Hey there, Jared W. Crew, Matt Masalo here with RhinestoneWorld.com. So we've been creating some awesome videos on customizing a team. So one of our lo local baseball teams here, the Sarasota Sting, we did a bat with the FTC sign vinyl. We did some batting gloves with our Easy Wee with the custom number and loco, our batting practice jersey. Well, now what we're going to do is a pair of shorts here. So with the shorts, again, we're going to use two colors of our Easy Weed heat transfer vinyl. We hollowed out some of it with the TRW Stone Wizard software. Going to give it a three color look and again, completely customized shorts that they can't find somewhere else. It's going to be a great sale for you. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to line up the shorts here on our heat press. So we're using our 16 by 20 Hotronics Auto Clam here. And I'm just going to line the shorts up nice here. Now the waist is a little bit thicker. So I'm going to have the waist go off to the top of the press there. So it doesn't affect my pressure at all. And we're going to get our initial pre-press here. So pre-press of about three to four seconds. I'm going to loosen it up a little bit. And then we're going to put the logo on the right side here. So we got our two colors here. We got our silver lens and our orange. And then we trimmed it out in the software so it's going to give a three color look. So first color we're going to press here is our silver lens. So we're going to go the silver lens. I'm just lining it up with the hem along the bottom there. Everything looks good there for the logo. We're going to go ahead and drop the press down. And we're going to press this for about three to four seconds for that initial press. Make sure that it got good pressure adhered to it. So again, it got a little bit right there where it started to peel up because we're not going for the full recommended time and temperature off the start. We don't want it to shrink too much, but we need to make sure to get enough for it to actually adhere to the shorts or garment, whatever you're pressing it to. So let's go ahead and try this again here and peel this back and it looks like we're good to go now. So there's our first color. Now we're just going to line up the orange directly on top of this and sometimes you'll just have to move the shorts or shirt around a little bit just to make sure everything's lined up nice and you can see how that gives us an awesome three color look to this actual design so I would say we're looking pretty good there I'm going to stretch it out a little bit here on the bottom I just want to even it out a little bit that's looking pretty good and I say we're good to go here so I'm going to go for the full recommended time and temperature here of about 12 to 15 seconds. So we're at about 305, 310 degrees here on our 16 by 20 Hotronics Auto Clam Heat Press. And our time's just about up here. Let's go ahead and lift this up. And we got a warm peel, so we can just peel it off here. And we have our finished logo there. So that's one side of the shorts right there where we have the custom logo that you can see. Now we're gonna add the custom number to the second side. So make this completely customized. They can't find anywhere else, but also with your advantage of having your Graftech CE6060 vinyl cutter, like we used for this project, it gives you the ability to customize very easily with something like this, the number 20, where you, it's gonna be a lot more difficult to do something like this with the screen printing process. So we got our number 20. Again, let's do a quick little pre-press here. Now the seam is a little bit bigger right here and that's why we were having a little bit issue with that press. So I'm going to drop the number 20 right down here. That's looking lined up nice. And let's go ahead and get this initial press down here. And I'm going to go about four to five seconds on this one just to make sure that we get that good adhesion on that first. And let's go ahead and peel this back. Everything looks awesome there. And again, this is our silver lens heat transfer vinyl. Now we're going to come back with our number 20. Let's get this lined up nice. That's looking beautiful there. Lined up perfect for us. Now I do have a little bit of my vinyl exposed there. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab our Teflon cover sheet here. And I'm going to use the protective cover sheet because we do have some of that silver lens exposed there to the heat press. So I'm going to cover it up with our cover sheet here and now we're going to go for the full oops, there we go. We'll go for the full recommended time of about 10 to 12 seconds here 
with the Easy Weed Orange. And again, we're about 305, 310 degrees here, but completely customized shorts here that you'll be able to sell at a premium price because it's something that they can't just find at your normal Sports Authority, Dick's Sporting Goods, any of their local stores out there. So there's our custom number 20 there. You can see it looks great with the silver lens. And I'll hold these up for you and show you our finished product. So again, we have on the right side here our custom logo. Looks great. Custom number 20 on the left side there. And that's going to match awesome with these batting gloves. With the shirt, with the batting practice jacket right there. Everything's going to look good when this all comes together. So hope you enjoyed this video on making some custom shorts for your local organization or team. If you do have any questions, make sure to give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. This is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com. You guys have a great day.